Dear students, today we are going to learn how to find the inverse of a matrix. Let us look what is the inverse of a matrix. A square matrix of order n is invertible if there exists a square matrix B of the same order such that A dot B is equal to A dot, A dot B is equal to B dot A is equal to identity matrix means if you multiply the two matrices, square matrices, and you are getting the identity matrix, then we can find out the inverse of the matrix. Okay, so we can say the inverse matrix exists. Now uh, there are some important results. Every invertible matrix have a unique inverse. Okay, so uh, we look how uh, and why it is written. If A is an invertible matrix, then inverse of A. Uh, let us suppose ki we have already identified. Ki, uh, let us look A dot B is equal to B dot A is equal to identity. What, what is the meaning of this? If I am saying uh, to you, ki, uh, what should we multiply? Let us suppose here X is a number. So what you can multiply here into X, ki you will get 1. Of course, you will uh, say ki we have to multiply 1 by X x into 1 by x we will get identity same is here a dot b is equal to b dot a both are the matrices is equal to identity matrix it means the inverse of the matrix exists okay so if a is in multiple matrix then inverse of a inverse of a uh, this inverse of a is a means uh, what we are saying we are saying a inverse of inverse means like this a inverse it is already we know and if we go once again the inverse of A inverse, then you will get A. Okay. So this matrix will be like this. And A square matrix is invertible if and only if it is non-singular. Non-singular means the matrix will be exist only if this is non-singular. Means this should be non-zero. It means the determinant of A that should be non-zero. This is equal to non-zero. So this matrix is called non-singular matrix. Singular matrix are those matrix if this determinant is zero. It means to find the inverse of the matrix, first of all, we have to check what is the value of its determinant. If the determinant is zero, then you can't find the inverse of the matrix. But if the determinant is non-zero, then only you can find the inverse of the matrix. So this is the formula for finding the inverse of a non-singular square. Okay. Uh, now you look the inverse of a two cross two matrix. How it look? If the inverse of a two cross two matrix A is equal to let us suppose this A B C D. So this is equal to inverse is one over. As I said, key first of all we have to find out the determinant of A. the determinant of A, and then the cofactor. Cofactor as we discuss in the adjoint of the matrix. That joint means the cofactor. Cofactor, just you take the cofactor, cofactor of A. The cofactor of A is D because this is the uh, uh, positive position. And then similarly, the cofactor of B is minus B and then uh, minus C and A. So you can write this is the adjoint. This whole matrix is known as adjoint of A. So this is the definition. Similarly, you can find out here 2, 5, 5, minus 3. So A inverse, just to check, this is minus 6 and minus uh, 25. The value is minus 31. So this value is minus 31. Similarly, you can write down this. Now you can uh, uh, just to say what is the inverse. Inverse is always a matrix. There should be no value. Value means this is a arrangement. So this is a matrix. It means you will divide every element with one by uh, minus 31. So 3 by minus uh, 3 by 31 because here it is also minus. Here it is also minus. So 3 by 31, 5 by 31. This is same negative minus 5, 5 by 31 and then minus 2 by 31. In this way, you can find out the inverse of A. Similarly, you can find out the inverse of 3 cross 3 matrix. Okay, Inverse of 3 cross 3 matrix, how it is? It is written here. Okay. First A into just to check. A you have taken. Then this will be the uh, sum matrix. Sum matrix will be E, F, H, I. Similarly, this position. This position is negative position. Because of that, you have written minus B. So if you want to write minus B, then just to check here, then minus B means just to check here. So you can uh, just omit this. Then you will get D, F, G and I. So you write here D, F, G and 
i in this way you can find out this value similarly plus c then plus c and again you go here then you will uh, find this is the sub matrix d e g h in this way you can define uh, okay and then you can find out so by the same method you can find out the uh, this uh, uh, determinant using the formula so you can find out just uh, the value and in this way you can find out the inverse similarly you can find out the inverse of three class three matrices also so i'm leaving this for the viewer you can do the practice for three cross three thank you very much thank you stay safe